Sawadee Kap. Welcome to a special edition of Easy Thai Lessons. Uh, this is not a party favor related lesson. This is just uh, an informative video. Um, I guess they're all informative, but uh, this is in color. So anyways, um, now I once said in a previous, uh, one of the previous lessons, is that you want to have books like this, okay? Um, for the beginner, I mean, come on, Ty, for beginners, now this is not without its, without its uh, mistakes and shortcomings, but the thing is, uh, overall, this is one of the greatest books that you can own to learn Thai. You know, and if you ever get past this book, then you get the uh, book for intermediate learners. In fact, I think you should get both of these books, all right, because they're great. Made by the same uh, woman, Benjawan Pumsan Becker, and um, she also made this, okay. And um, another thing that she made, too, hold on a second, which I found to be quite, uh, quite useful. Now these things are here. Speak like a tie. Now I don't have all six, but I have five of these things. Now um, I uh, some of these are going to be a little bit confusing, and it takes a while. I mean, really, you shouldn't even delve into these CDs until you have uh, <laughs> until you've basically mastered that first book. But uh, still, though. Um, now, by all means, please continue to watch these videos, you know, I make these videos for, uh, for everybody, you know, but some of y'all, uh, sometimes just come to YouTube to find the information you need to take you to other places, and I just want to be fair with you and let you know that, um, you know, you don't want to rely on all the YouTube videos of learning how to speak Thai to be your only source for learning Thai. It's you're foolish if you uh, if you do that. Um, now one thing though I did want to uh, clear for you is this. Now um, when you get books like these or Conversational Thai in Seven Days or The Lonely Planet's Thai Phrase Book you're gonna see the tone marks now people some people don't understand the tone marks and I want to go ahead and clear this up because I was the same way when I first started several years ago um, now obviously you know that is a low tone okay when it's coming this way it's a low tone when it's coming from the other direction it's a high tone now but look at these two though right here now I used to think that it was totally ridiculous for this to be a falling tone and for this to be a rising tone. Come on, it looks like an arrowhead, face, you know, f facing the upwards direction. So that should be a, a rising tone. And that's going down. That should be a falling tone. Well, no. I actually figured out a couple of years ago, and uh, I'm glad I didn't argue about it with anybody. First of all, you know, <clears throat> For a rising tone, you have to start with a low tone, and then you make it into a high tone, okay? You go to a high tone. So if you're going from a low to a high, what is that? You're rising. So that is a rising tone. If it's a falling tone, you got to start from a high tone, and you got to go to a low tone. High to low, that's falling. Bam, there you go. I just cleared it for you. And if there's no tone, hey, no tone mark at all, guess what? It's a medium tone, and you should already know that. But there are some of you out there, though, I know are confused about this, though. Now, um, like I said, um, you know, please don't, uh, I don't want this to discourage you from watching my videos and everything, you know. I love making these videos, and, um, you know, some of y'all out there, uh, like to have someone you know explain things to you and I kind of fill in I try to fill in the gaps where uh, some of these books don't fill in you know um, I try to explain certain reasons why this is that and so and so you know uh, such and such I 
I don't know all the rules and everything, you know. I'm I'm in the same boat with a lot of you guys, you know. But here's the thing, though. I'm just a few steps above you. So that, that's why I can do this thing, you know. Now, please don't let my uh, lack of um, an extensive Thai fluency discourage you from continuing to watch my videos. I think you should continue to watch my videos because, see, I'm not just making these videos for you guys. I'm making these for me as well. But you see, I don't want to just make these where I'm only using words that I want to study. I want uh, to start off on a base so that those of you who don't even know anything about this can at least get a, a good hint of what's going on. And then later on down the line, you know, you can continue to watch these. You can come back and watch these and say, oh yeah, that's why this has got to be at the end and blah, 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 you know. And, but, you know, when I go to Thailand, um, you know, I'm going to try my best to, you know, to communicate as much as I can. Now, me communicating my thoughts is one thing, but um, understanding what people say is another. I mean, come on, you, plenty of y'all have met Thai people or someone from a totally different culture who only knows about maybe 500 of our words, you know, English words. And, you know, their English is broken up. And, um, you know, we, we have so many different words for, uh, for one thing, you know, and, uh, or one word can have, you know, several, you know, many meanings, you know, in English. Well, you know, it's just the same in Thai, you know. And have you ever watched um, a Thai movie? You know, I mean, y'all could like sit there and study Thai all you want and everything and think that you're good, but man, you put in a Thai movie and half the time you're gonna be you're gonna be lost. You're gonna have like you know, you know, deer in the headlights. You know, it's. Uh, you're going to be totally lost about that, and that's how I am half the time when I'm watching uh, Thai movies and Thai TV, you know, it's like, God, what the hell are they saying? They're speaking so fast, you know, but the thing is, though, is that there's other films where they don't really speak fast, they speak at a good level, good pace, so that you should be able to understand, the problem is, is knowing the damn words. There are hundreds of thousands of words in the Thai language, you know? And a lot of you who are fluent still don't even know all those words. There are hundreds of thousands of words in the English language, and I don't even know all of them. So, and also, when it comes to uh, the average number of common used words, you know, commonly used words, you know, uh, it's only about 1,500 words in English that we use every day and everything, you know. If Now, I mentioned, I asked you guys before if you ever uh, listened to any of the Michelle Thomas method of, uh, of like, Spanish, German, Italian, or French, you know. Um, he was once dubbed the greatest uh, language teacher in the world, you know. His methods are brilliant. Well, he even said, um, says at the beginning of his lessons, you know, once they asked, um, uh, a famous newspaper in New York, uh, how many words they uh, they keep in a database as far as commonly used words, and it's only roughly a little over 600 words, you know. So you see what I'm you see what I'm getting at, you know. Um, it's not uh, it's not about the drill. I'm not trying to drill words into your head or anything like that. Uh, you know, you do want to drill words into your head eventually, but the thing is, though, is that I'm trying to show you, uh, teach you important words so that you can, you know, extend your thoughts, you know, you can speak them out and everything, you know. And that's probably a really lame thing I just said, but oh well. I'm trying, okay? Now, uh, we're, we're coming towards the end of this video, and I've been spouting out like crazy. Um, I want to thank... Uh, a few of you people out there that have subscribed to my channel I think it's wonderful that you have and um, you know I didn't realize for the longest time that you could subscribe to someone's channel but um, y'all are y'all are uh, just reinforcing my uh, my desire to continue making these videos and um, and also for those that watch my videos you know I really would appreciate a comment you know, I'm not asking you to praise me or anything like that. But, you know, 
let me know what you think. And if, there, if I said something wrong, if I did something wrong, please tell me. You're not going to hurt my feelings. If you think I suck, man, go ahead and write it. Put it on. John, you suck as a teacher. Hey, that is cool because I already know I suck. But guess what, though? I know, I know more Thai than half y'all, motherfuckers. So <laughs> there you go. All right? I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm doing my best to help out. So, anyways, oh man, take care, and I'll see you in the real lesson nine. Sawadee kap, kap kumakap.